In this video, we're going to take a look at application templates and how to use and modify the out-of-box templates to quickly monitor and manage your applications. So, what is a template? You can think of a template as a blueprint of what needs to be monitored for a particular type of application. It lists all of the components or building blocks for that application and the default thresholds they should be set to. A good analogy for this would be a template for monitoring a car. Your standard template would probably cover basics like speed, fuel, and oil levels. After monitoring your fleet of vehicles, you might decide that the warning threshold level for fuel needs to be adjusted. Adjusting the level on the template will propagate that change down to all applications based on that template, in this case your entire fleet. If one of your drivers tends to speed, you could adjust the warning and critical thresholds for that one car if you needed to, without affecting the standard monitoring of the rest of your fleet. Server and Application Monitor comes with a large number of out-of-the-box application templates to cover a wide range of common applications. To manage and apply them to servers, click All Settings from the menu bar, and under Product-Specific Settings, open SAM Settings. Under Application Monitor Templates, click on Manage Templates. By default, the Manage Application Template page will display the hundreds of application templates that are available for you to apply to your servers. Each template is tagged with one or more descriptive tags, which you can use from the menu on the left to narrow down your options closer to what you're looking for. In addition to the templates that are pre-installed, SAM also has access to templates that have been contributed by THWACK community members. To access these templates, click on the Shared Templates on THWACK tab. This will display the templates that have been uploaded to SAM's content exchange. Just like the pre-installed templates, these templates can be sorted by their tags. Information about each of the templates is displayed on the right side of the page. This information can be useful when deciding which templates to import. Each template includes the date it was published, its community rating, and the number of times that a template has been downloaded. To add a shared template, click the checkbox by the template's name, then click Import. You will then be prompted to enter your THWACK credentials. Once entered, click Login. The template will then be imported into SAM. Once the import is complete, click on the View Imported Templates button. The new template will then be displayed. The Shared Templates on THWACK tab will only function if the Orion server has access to THWACK. If for whatever reason your Orion server cannot access THWACK, you can still manually import templates that have been shared on the Content Exchange. Let's take a look at how this is done. You can find the THWACK Content Exchange by opening THWACK and selecting SAM from the Product menu. Under Get the Most Out of SAM, click Content Exchange. You'll find a number of documents, scripts, and templates shared by other users here. Using the search filter will help to locate more relevant options. I'm going to search for Unix here and download the Unix file change template. You'll notice that all SAM templates have the extension of APM template. Also, please note that this is community created content, so if you choose to use these templates, it's at your own risk. If you're downloading templates, particularly script based ones, Make sure you know exactly what it does before you apply it to your environment. Now that we have it downloaded, you can import the template into your SAM environment by clicking Import Export. Choose the file and click Submit. In your tag list, you'll see a new tag called Imported from Thwack, where you can find your newly downloaded template. Now let's apply one of our templates to a server to begin monitoring that type of application. You can apply a template to one or more servers at once. Before selecting an application to apply, Note the number of license components that an application will use when added to your target server. Complex applications may have 20 or 30 licensed components, so depending on your license limit, you may need to consider carefully what needs to be applied and where. Select the template to apply and click Assign to Node. You'll see a list of your nodes on the left that you could potentially apply this template to. Select the nodes to apply it to and click the green arrow to choose them. This doesn't apply the template to these nodes yet, we must first test the template against the selected nodes to ensure we have the correct credentials and that the application exists on those servers. Always remember that the credentials you use must have sufficient access on the target servers to monitor the components. Sometimes, you might find that you need to use a different credential for one of the components in a template. If you do, your initial credentials test for the application will succeed for some components and fail for others. If this happens, apply the application template as normal. You'll then need to edit the template after it is assigned to set credentials for the failed components. Click Assign Application Monitors, review and confirm the changes you've made, and click Done. Let's assume there were some modifications you need to make to that template, for example, additional credentials to apply, 
or maybe an additional item you'd like to monitor as part of that template. Go back to the Manage Templates page and select your new template again. Click Edit from the menu bar. You can adjust the configuration of your template from here, and any changes you make will automatically propagate to all applications created with this template. For example, you can adjust the polling frequency to poll more or less often. If you adjust polling settings, make sure the polling timeout is equal to or less than the polling frequency. If it's greater, polling could potentially begin again before the previous poll is completed. To add more components to the template, you could click the Add Component Monitors button. To adjust existing components, change the credentials used, or modify their thresholds, expand the component, and make the necessary adjustments. Your options for adjusting each component will be based on the component type. For example, the options and settings available for a script monitor would be very different to that of a service monitor. If you're not yet sure which thresholds to set for warning and critical, try the Use Thresholds Calculated from Baseline Data checkbox. To learn more about creating a new template and adding components to it, please see the video Creating a New Application Template.